It is a disappointment. I mean, we really did think that the Internet was going to be a democratizing force, and it has been. But it's also opened us up to all sorts of uh, trollery, as you said. And what I would say is that I think what you've done is good in the sense that you don't have some... I don't have a big corporation. Yeah, you don't have some NBC guy telling you what you can and can't say. You've built a real business here. But it is still a traditional media business. You're a curator. You you don't just have someone off the street come in and present your show. It's what... uh, I'm trying to remember who said this. It was a great phrase, and I, I, it was somebody I was reading the other day called industrial media, the from the industrial era, mm. and uh, it's fr- and it, and well, you and you even talk about the uh, industrial era. Let's talk about this because this is the new book, and I don't want to live in the past. I want to live in the broken future. How to fix the future is the new book just came out, and I think it is exciting because it does it you know say well. Let's move forward. And the only thing that can fix the future is humans. Right. You you bring up very early on that the industrial era and some of the same things. The other that thing happening. is, is the people that do that, people that, that use Apple Script know what they're doing. Right. It's for productivity. They know exactly right. what they're doing. Right. And a bad bad guys aren't learning Apple Script. <laughs> We're trying to because you know how are you going to run put it, it on iOS. How, like, how are you going to run it? It's like you said. Right, how are they going to run it? User. If it's an app, then it's going to ask for permission. Right. If it's a script file, the user has it's to local. install it. Right. <laughs> right. And right. workers who yeah. went around smashing the machines because they thought the machines were taking away their jobs, right. and they were. Right. Uh, and the Luddites were followers a guy called Ned Ludd, the Northern English movement, who may be apocryphal, but. Yeah, but th- this the, was a the real movement was there, in historical yeah. terms. It wasn't yeah. some fantasy. Right. So there was massive disruption, huge disturbance. Everything that we took for granted or everything that was taken for granted about the industrial age was undermined. Right. You had the appearance of an incredibly wealthy, powerful new class of industrialists and this massive working class or underclass of people who were poorly paid and lived in poverty, what... Marx called the proletariat, you had the, a, a crisis, a perceived and a real crisis of jobs. It was harder and harder to get work on the land, so people came to the town, the city, the factory. Some people got jobs in factories, but many didn't. You had a kind of cultural crisis where more and more sort of people were anger and anger, more and more sort of corrosiveness about... Um, public discourse and and many societies teetered on revolution of one kind or another 